it just came down this year. I've walked up here a lot, and I really don't think I've ever seen this many branches on the ground. And you know, it makes me think about, remember Julia Butterfly? I remember Julia Butterfly. She tree sat, she hoisted herself up into a redwood tree in the Headwaters Forest. And, um, I remember it was a really bad winter for wind. So I lived in that area. By that point, I had lived in that area for 20 years. So I was familiar with you know, normal winter and an exceptional winter. And that was an exceptional winter as far as wind storms went. And not only that, but she was in a tree where the head logged all around her, which means that there wasn't a lot of protection from the wind because other trees will break the wind. So I have to suspect there might have been a little more to it than just a freak bad winter. The year that she decided to stay in the tree all you know all winter. That's what I think now. But she stuck it out. She made it through. I would say that this year has been especially windy. There's way more branches on the ground than normal. I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's a tree that was uprooted. But see, it sounds like all this technology, this frequency-based technology is accessible, I think, not just to military, but to other groups as well. That's my theory right now. especially Freemasons. Or maybe through Freemasonry, or maybe through something else, like power companies or something. Look at this. Oh, that's, that doesn't look like a branch that fell over. It looks like a tree that fell over. 